today we're making this easy to make world craft. You see the world here with two hands, the heart of a Bible verse from John 3.60. It says, For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So if you want to follow along, you can either go to truewaykids.com and download the free template, it's in the Nicodemus lesson, or um, you can also do it without printing anything off at all, and we'll show you that version as we go along. So again, the easiest way to do it, head over to the website, there you can also download the instructions, as well as a template page. So you'll see this page, which is with the hands and the heart, and then you'll also see um, this page here, which is the world. Actually, there's four images of the world in the lesson pack, just print off whichever version shows you. So here we're in the UK, so we have the one with the UK, but wherever you are in the world, you can print off that part and color it in, so it's localized to you. As you do not try to encourage your child to find um, where they are on the map. So Timothy, do you know where we are on this map? Yeah. Where are we? Point to, point to where we live. That's right, and that's Africa. And there's Portugal down there. So that's just one of the ways you can do it. So. First way you need to do, if you're going to um, use the printable version, is simply just to colour in your pictures. So Tiffy, do you want to colour this in for us? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, do you know where the land is? Yeah, here. Land is there. So if you colour the land in green, okay? And in the, and the... And in the sea, in the blue colour. Have you got that? That blue or this blue? And blue is this blue. That's perfect. Thank you very much. The other way you can do it, if you haven't got a printer, is um, just to get a plate, so a smallish plate which will fit on a piece of A4 paper. You just need to put uh, paper down and just draw around um, the plate any way you want to, like so. And now we'll create then a picture of the a circle for you which will become your world. So then obviously if you want to try and draw the world onto it, you can. But it really doesn't matter too much. You can just colour it in, um, again, green or blue and it will look pretty good at the end. So while Timothy's colouring in his really good there, I'll just kind of do an outline here for you to get an idea of how it will work. So just colour in parts of the world in um, green. Again, you can just use colour pencils or um, use pens, crayons, whatever you prefer to use with your children is perfect. And again, it doesn't need to be exactly like the world because the end result will look um, good anyway. The idea is just to be creative as we are doing it and it will look amazing. So, is, is it? Dad, yes. And there's the water for you. Um, that's the land, that bit. So, all this bit is perfect for you doing as a sea. Okay? Yes, yeah, so you just cut in. So, it's an amazing passage what we're looking at in this lesson. It's from um, John chapter 3. And Nicodemus was a, he was a religious leader. He was wealthy and he seemed to have everything, but he recognized that he was missing something. So, he came to Jesus at the night time because he didn't want anybody to see him. He was kind of ashamed really that he wanted to know more. So he came to Jesus at night and he said, what must, we do have to, what must I do to have eternal life? What he wanted to do is to live forever. Because he'd been doing all the laws, he'd been a good person. But something inside him knew that he just couldn't be good enough to go to heaven and spend forever with God. And Jesus said to him, you must be born again. Is that a funny thing to say to him, you must be born again? Yeah. It said on the church picture. It didn't. And Nicodemus said, how am I going to be born again? How am I going to fit into my mother's belly again? Because that's impossible, isn't it? You're a big boy now, aren't you? So it wouldn't be hard for you to fit in mommy's belly again. Mm -hmm. It would be impossible. And that's what Nicodemus thought. Nicodemus was a grown man. But Jesus said, not physical. So you were born once physically, but now you need to be born spiritually. And Jesus said something amazing to Nicodemus. He said, you must be born again. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that being Jesus, that whoever believes in him will never perish but have eternal life. And that's a verse that we're going to put on our craft in a little bit. So once you colour in the world, um, like so, you just I need to cut it out. So once you've done finished um, colouring in your pictures, you just need to colour in the second part, which is either this template page here, which is the hands and the heart. You can colour that in. Again, if you haven't got a printer and you'd rather um, do it yourself, that's very easy as well. You just need a piece of blank paper and you ask your child to put their hand on the paper and you just need to go around this. So can you put your hand on the paper here for me? Like so. Then actually you can use your child's hands inside the, the craft on the side. So that's a, that's a easy way to do it. It actually makes it even more 
personal I think so once you draw the one hand that's going to be good swap but the other hand so take this hand off this hand on again wide apart oh we're not overlapping no so one two three four five fingers oh you go back around okay perfect okay would you like to color in your hands or would you like to color in these hands Colour in your hands? No. Template hands. Okay. So you colour in the template one. Once you draw on the hands, you can just colour them in. Again, you don't need to worry too much about going inside the lines colouring these in because we're going to cut them out in a second. So it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines. So Tiffany's doing his heart really nice, like red colour for his heart there. And where he's finishing colouring in, I'll just show you. So once you've got a hand, you can sort of cut these out and now um, ask your mum and dad to help you cut them out if you um, are struggling to cut them out but wherever you do make sure that they at least supervise in you even if you feel that you can do it by yourself so you need to cut out the hands very um, carefully to see if we can go on the side of our craft once we are finished it's a really brilliant job colouring there so colouring your hands now to make your hands look um, really nice. Do a skin colour or do you want a different colour? It doesn't matter. You can do any way you want I to. I use this skin colour. Okay, that's, that will look perfect. So if you colour your hands in, now. To this or this way. Mm -hmm. You do. To this. Turn it in. Oh, oh, perfect. So, okay, if you're using a template page like Tim is here, once it's all coloured in and looking right, then you just need to cut that out. Um, carefully that's and you need to I can and you need to cut out the world as well so which one do you want to cut out first the world or your hands and the heart my hands are not the world okay brilliant so super careful now as you cut that out is that right yeah. do you want me to help you do it or do you think you can do it okay. Okay. super careful doing that now eh? so use this version Yeah, once you finish cutting out your hands, um, you can cut out the world as well. Oh, good cutting there. Careful now following the lines. It's really good scissor skills you got. Here goes once you cut out the world and the heart. Now if you're not using the printed version of the template, you're gonna to have to cut out the heart shape as well. So after that you just need some more blank paper. An easy way to do a heart is just to fold it about the size you want to, like so. And it helps if you're if you want to your child to do it as well, just to draw draw half a heart first on the paper like so. And once you cut that out, that'll look right. To be good job cutting that out. There you go, there's an easy heart. And we want it folded because it's going to stick out later. And there's your heart. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So again, once you finish your heart, um, this Tim Peace one from printed version, you just want to fold it in half already when we glue it down later. So this was this version ready. Tim Peace cutting that out. Brilliant there. And this is ready for you as well. Now if you're doing um, the self-made version without the template, you're going to want to write the Bible verse there as well as but then three. So you can ask your child to write it or you can write it yourself. So you can copy off a template. It says for God. For God so loved the world. John 3.16. So if you again if you're making your own heart version um, just write the Bible verse on the heart then you can color it in lightly above it again if you're using a template version you can just print off the template the template is available also in Portuguese French and Spanish so if you want one of these other languages it, it will be coming in Russian very soon and in Dutch 
and a few other languages as well. So we really it's so blessed we share these in uh, multiple languages that you can use with your child. And Swedish is also coming very soon. Yes, yeah. so once you cut out your hands and your heart, then just cut out the world bit. And the way is I can now dot for you you will just see how to do it. And hopefully the coronavirus will be going away soon. We are, we're praying and we that the coronavirus will go away soon and it'll keep everybody safe. And these lessons are going to give fun activities to you when 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 coronavirus is around. That's what we hope in it, that when people are stuck in their house that they can follow us along with these fun craft activities and then they'll have fun in their house and learn some of the Bible stories and verses as well. Brilliant. So once we're all done we can put our scissors away now because we don't need it anymore. Then what we'll do, first of all for the heart you and then your hands. You want to put the hands on either side. So if you put the thumbs up on top, that's perfect. So which can you put your thumbs on top? Thumb on top there, and thumb there. Then we need to glue these in place. So there's some glue for you to use. Okay, put it right in the back bit there. And here. And can you glue them on the end like you remember how to do it? So you just put some glue wherever you want it. Again, you can put it on the hand or on the arm world doesn't really matter whichever works best for you and then just stick them um, on you know you want to leave some space where we can stick the um, world after in the middle there you go and once you've got your world fold the world in half like so so you've got a line in the middle and glue on the line and this will allow it to um, stick up in 3d a little bit perfect oh. that's at least so can you put it right down the line in the middle now and you just need to put that in place like so Brilliant job there, Timothy. Okay, can you stick that line in the middle? Perfect, and then we're all done. So here's a version we've done without the printed template. Again, you see it came out very nice. And, and this is the one with the printed one. Timothy, can you show everyone? Show the camera there. And that's what you do if you print it out and do it yourself. It doesn't take too long. It's, it's fun to make, and then you just need a bit of paper um, scissors, glue, and something to colour in with. And it's a great way to remember the verse, For God so loved the world, He gave His one and only Son, so whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Well, we hope you have great fun doing this craft. If you do make it, please send us a photo so we can see it. Just tag us in it. And we hope you have a great day again. And we'll come back with another craft video really soon. Have a great day. God bless. Say God bless. God bless.